Somehow, January and February have passed by without me even realising it. It's not that they've been bad, quite the contrary, but they've just sort of blended in. Get up, get ready, out the door, off to work. Repeat. Looking back at what I filmed on Christmas Day, I realise now just how rich it can be, how full of warmth and colour it is. So on this blue February day that has little to say for itself, let's just rewind and pause there for a minute. Turkey. Always turkey. In my opinion, Christmas is not Christmas without one. The day always starts with my mum preparing it, a rather monumental task given its huge size. From this, you might assume that we have a large family gathering at Christmas, but no, it was just four of us. I say just four of us, but this year, in addition to my mum, my stepdad Nigel, and myself, we also had my stepsister Sarah over, and it was the first time we'd ever spent Christmas Day together. For me, this was one of my favourite things about Christmas this year. With Sarah around, hilarity was bound to ensue. For some reason, I always go a bit kiddy when we're all together, and Sarah was indeed a good sport, as ever always. <laughs> what are you doing, Sarah? I'm feeling potatoes. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> Particularly festive. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. So, back to the day. After the turkey is in the oven, breakfast can begin, and we start as we mean to go on, and with cereal or toast malarkey. Besides, we have to fuel up for the preparation ahead. And there it is. There it is, a uh, sprout. Right, okay. Now I just have to replicate that. Right, the preparations have begun. We're all very busy. Um, we've been put to work. There's um, Sarah getting on with the... What are you doing? Potatoes. <laughs> well, I've been tasked with sprouts. Even though I don't like them. I'm, I'm doing the carrots. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> See, it's united. Ta da! Right, so it's like an hour later and I've finally finished doing the sprout, and everyone else has peeled all the other vegetables in that time. Here's our starters. Everyone else has got seafood, but I'm still not much sure about seafood, so. I've just got palm ham and pear with goat's cheese, I think, and some lettuce. And we're all ready to go. Delish. In some ways, all this food might seem a bit excessive, but it's one day a year, and meals have historically brought people together, and it's no exception for us. Thank you. This is the finished result. <laughs> I can't really fit on my plate. <laughs> so well done, Mum. Yeah. Very well done. Such fun, such fun. He's got that loopy can't move. <sighs> Interspersed with the preparation and consumption of food, we also take turns to open presents. It's always interesting to see what everyone receives at Christmas. And although it's a cliche, I really do enjoy picking out presents for people and spending time to think about what they might like and what kind of person they are, more so than I like receiving presents, although I like that too. We use these rituals to unite us, to express affection, thoughtfulness, to share memories and create new ones. Some years I felt more cynical about Christmas. I think many people have moments in the festive period where they feel rather Grinch-like. The richness can seem more like gluttony. All this display, for what? And why one day specifically? But there's nothing wrong with just having fun, with a whole day dedicated to taking pleasure in the little things, to laughing and eating and swapping presents, and being with those you love. Yeah, yeah Merry Christmas! So here's looking forward to the next one.